That's high score time. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. Hi. It's Monday. And Jake is already lifting very heavy weight. You know it's Monday when you get hit with the pre-workout so hard that like your stomach's a little upset, but you can literally feel the blood rushing mm -hmm. to your head. So safe to say I'm awake now. From me to you, don't allow your kids to do drugs. It does weird things to them. Anyway, the point is... He made it. I did make the pre-workout today. Usually Jake makes the pre-workout. He got up a little later than we did, so yeah. Talks about routine a little bit, I guess, huh? Good news though, got on the scale today. New all-time low weight. I'm telling you, the key to happiness and success is Froyo once a week. On Sundays at about six o'clock. We're gonna bang back right now. And then we're gonna go and hopefully find our bathroom design job to be about 90% finished. That would be ideal, about 90% finished. So how about we knock this back workout out? Yesterday was Sunday because today's Monday, and yesterday I was sweating on the couch in an air-conditioned house. So, air-conditioned house for us is like 80 degrees. You know, on days you're doing back, your biceps get worked. On days you're doing chest, your triceps gets worked. Traps, yes, they get worked on shoulder day and chest day and all that other good stuff. But to really get that nice little shape that everybody's after, uh, you need to target train traps. And I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. Hi. 
Hi. How are you? I'm alright, how are you? How's that paint match going? Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. Good, good. think this is better beige and white it can't be all white it, I, I think it'd be that'd be difficult to make this all white especially with that wallpaper in there and yeah I mean with the drapery and, and the color in here is so good now that I would You haven't been taken advantage of. Yes, I believe so. Candidly, the price that you got is about six thousand dollars cheaper than everybody else who looked at the bathroom. It, it Well, we'll put a number on that, but here's what I'm asking you to do. Let me, Scott, Dennis, let me fucking handle it. Let me, let me run the project. Let me negotiate the price. Tell me how much you want to spend and I'll get the price. I'll get it done. Until you get here and see them done, and I think you will feel differently. You did not get taken advantage of. I would not let that happen to you. I got you, no problem. No problem. You have to follow the process. You have to follow a process. You have to. When you don't follow the process, shit gets messed up, man. Follow the process. Yeah. I mean, but the, the, the place looks fucking unbelievable. Yeah. And that bathroom is amazing. I mean, at the end of the day, this is easily. I don't know how it could have turned out better. I really don't. And I'm not just saying that just because we did it, but I, I, I mean, I don't know how this bathroom could have turned out better. I mean, look at that. I think it's unbelievable. Well, actually, I think that's the best match bathroom I've ever designed. I mean, that fucking thing looks unbelievable. I'll take that bathroom over the game bathroom, for sure. If you wonder why some of the stuff looks placed a little different, it's yeah, it's fine. I yeah, don't, don't worry about it. it. Just don't worry about it. I don't disagree with them that maybe that plank needs to go. This we need a piece of tape, man. They can't keep turning off these exterior lights. Because if they turn that switch off. Yep. So, and the nice thing is we have three pallets of extra tile. So, 
That's always good. I wouldn't change this floor. I mean, He's not going to get the return on it, that's the no. problem. And I still think, with this line here, if we, if, if we put that tile in here with this line here, it's going to look amazing. It's high score time. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, look at that high score war. Look at that. So today was one of those days where everybody wants to talk and very few people want to do what needs to be done. And I know I've talked about this a lot on this vlog, but one of the things that I am really terrible at accepting is the idea of being great. Like. A lot of people will tell you, oh, I want to be the best at this and I'm going to do everything and they're willing to sell out and, you know, do whatever it takes to win. And I just don't see that a lot, you know, and the frustrating part for me is, is that I have to deal with a lot of people who um, are not willing to do what they say they're going to do. And it's just a tremendous pet peeve of mine. I really don't like it. And, you know, for me, I guess where my heart on this is, is that I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. Like, I'm willing to work long hours. I'm willing to, you know, redesign a bathroom three times. I'm willing to, you know, go and buy tile and spend three hours in a tile store picking out tile. I'm willing to do that. As long as the end result is phenomenal, I'm willing to do that. But one of the things I really struggle with is when somebody does not do what they're supposed to do or what they said they would do, and you say, hey man, you said you were gonna do this, or hey, this is your responsibility, or more to the point, hey, this is not your job. Do your job and let me handle this job. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I'll do that. My bad, yeah, and then it still doesn't get done. And you're like, you know, this is hurting us now. This is hurting us now. Because you're not doing what you need to be doing, this is hurting us. And then it's the list of excuses. Well, I can't do it because of this, or I didn't do it because of that, or this happened because of this. And it's just so much bullshit. It's so much bullshit. And then you say to that person, hey, stay in your lane, do your job, and let everybody else do their job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they still won't do it. And what that tells you is they don't want to win. They don't want to win. They're not looking to win. They're looking to take credit. And that, trust me, as an entrepreneur and somebody that runs multiple businesses, that's not that's not how you win. Trying to be everything to everybody so that you get credit is not how you win. And it's, the best word that I can think of is, it is absolutely a disease. When somebody tries to do everything, they wind up doing nothing, and they tell you that they're doing everything, and it is absolutely a cancer inside of a business. Man, 
That was the story of my day today. And I don't mean to rant about it or keep going on about it or... I mean, you just waste so much fucking time doing... Running around trying to figure out, hey, why did this happen? Or how does this happen? Or why does this continue to happen? And it's because this guy won't get the fuck out of the way. You just waste so much time. It's amazing. It's amazing how many people... Think about the people you work around. How many people that you work with are time vampires? Where they just absolutely steal your time on a regular basis. And they get nothing done. Think about that. How many people tell you, oh my goodness, I am so busy. And they get nothing done. Oh, in real estate and in design, oh my goodness. Uh, I am so busy that I'm too busy to get anything done. Hey there. <laughs> so uh, tonight I baked some wild caught uh, sockeye salmon. And um, salmon is an amazing food. Um, besides having really healthy fats, it delivers a ton of protein. Um, the oils from this fish are so good for your body, uh, but it's very important that you get it wild caught. Uh, there's a lot of um, fish farms that are farming them using a lot of um, drugs and genetic modification to get them larger, so always look for wild caught, whether it's Atlantic or sockeye. Um, this is amazing fish. So it just came out of the oven. I checked it. It's the right temperature. Did you give it the taste test? Not yet. Yep. That's good. <laughs> What's up guys, back at the house. Um, just kind of finishing up the day prepping for the show tomorrow. Um, I did a quick meal prep tonight uh, in lieu of some fruit that uh, we usually have. We decided to eat it. So um, with that said, I have a pretty good alternative. Um, we got Kodiak protein pancakes. Pretty good stuff. Um, I like them because they're time efficient. I can just pop them in the microwave. Um, bada boom, bada bing, you know what I mean? So we do that um, and basically Going through the day the way our day is set up, I don't have time to eat like handy food or you know anything that's messy. I like to have something that I can either eat with a fork real quick or just something just something easy to eat and pancakes are exactly that. Um, so that'll be kind of a mid-morning snack. And then we got chicken right here, which is really good. We slow cooked the chicken, turned out really good. Um, took about six hours, uh, basically just chicken stock. Salt, pepper, garlic, sage, all the usual seasonings. We have that. One more thing that we have. New flavor of amino energy, pineapple. Um, excellent, a little tart the first time you try it. But other than that, um, really good once you get used to it. It's a nice alternative from grape, which obviously is the champ. That's the best one. So yeah, that's that. Um, tomorrow, our bathroom job will finish up. Um, they put the tub in today, finished grouting the floor, so now we're just waiting for the glass, which should be at the end of the week, um, Thursday, Friday, we'll see what happens. So yeah, um, please like this video, please subscribe to the video, or please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching, we'll see you guys tomorrow.